<clears throat> it's been a while. I believe almost a year now since I last uploaded a video. And I really wanted to come back to YouTube for the same reason I started this channel. And I think with this video, I just want to talk about everything I've learned in the past year to capture it, to look back on it, to see how much I've changed and how much I've grown. The past year has been really, really interesting. So much has happened. Yet, it all worked out in the end. I lost one of my closest friends due to an argument for no apparent reason. And I also met the love of my life. I didn't know it at the time. I knew she was really beautiful and I know I love being around her. I've learned a lot in the past year. I've grown a lot and I think with this video I just want to talk about anything and everything on my mind. No cuts, no nothing, just, just talking. I feel like in society we're like so overstimulated. We are so eager to live in the next moment. We forget to live in this moment. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna stand here, I sit here and be a hypocrite, you know, I was the same. I, I genuinely lost myself in the past year. And only now do I feel like I've finally realized everything I, anything and everything I had questions to, I had answered. And it was because of about uh, in this past weekend, I went out and, you know, went out to a party because my cousin's leaving and I experienced something life changing, literally. And you can call me crazy. You don't have to believe me. I'm simply putting this out there for you to choose. Someone who someone doesn't change because they need to. Someone changes because they want to. And I wanted to change. I was done waking up, doing whatever not even looking after myself, waking up to a messy bedroom, waking up to feeling like I have no purpose, waking up and just waiting for the next moment to come so that potentially I can feel happy. But what I've realized in just such a short amount of time is that <laughs> the world is really screwed up. And that's the truth. And we are a lot more impressionable than we think. I know I am. I'm just glad that I finally found myself.
what I've realized is that life is really complex. This world is really complex. But the meaning of it, the meaning as to why you are here, why you are conscious and why you are watching this video right now, it's very simple. It's simply to experience the moment, to experience life for what it is. And a lot of people are not okay with that answer. I know I wasn't until I experienced, I guess you would say an ego death. Um, maybe I did die that, that day, I don't know. But what I've realized is that life is meaningful if you make it meaningful. If you choose to chase the next high, if you choose to chase the next car, if you choose to ch chase the next girl, you will never be happy. You need to learn to be happy in the moment. And how I've come to realize that is that Who you are today isn't who you're supposed to be. We are not supposed to be this overstimulated. We are not supposed to wake up in the morning, grabbing our phone, going on TikTok, swipe, 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 swipe. Like, what life is that? Is that a life you want to live? Because I know it wasn't a life I wanted to live. But it comes at a cost. And that is realizing you're overstimulated. And I know you might hear that and you might say whatever and, you know, just it might be a moot point to, or, uh, to you. But when it really hits you and it can come at any time you realize that it literally does not matter. What matters is that you make your younger self happy. When I was a kid, honestly, all the thi all, any everything I've ever dreamed of, I have it. There's only two things I wanted. Well, technically three, but there's one, to find a beautiful girl that I love. Number two is to have a fast car. And well, number three, I wanted to go to space, but I'm okay with not going to space. You know why? Because there's so many experiences here in this world that I have yet to experience. And just being thankful for everything. When you start to become grateful and thankful, even if it, even if it's not what society is doing, right? You go on TikTok, you go on Instagram, you see all these people living their luxurious lives, showing off their money, their cars, their woman, whatever. Is that really the life you want to live? And if it is, so be it. But I'm telling you, you won't be happy. You won't be happy if you keep waiting and stressing about the future. You can. Is it good to be prepared? Of course, I like to be prepared. But the reality is, you don't know what life will throw at you. Look at COVID. You know? And even if you did know what was coming, feel like a lot of people a lot of people wouldn't like it I mean there's gonna be a lot of chaos in this life there's gonna be, be a lot of evil even more so than there is now and 
it's your op it's your duty to find happiness in that chaos that is your purpose now i understand not everyone is religious so be it i am in fact i reconnected with god and i couldn't be happier i mean i've realized that i am so grateful for everything i have for our family for a beautiful girlfriend that i love dearly for a pretty fast car i mean infinity g37 i mean i think goes past you know i've got on what 230 kilometers i mean that, that's pretty quick you know people will hate and that's okay because it's not their life they're living it's yours who cares what other people say i know it's really really hard to understand when you're younger and how i'm only 18 but once you start to literally not give a shit about what people think you will truly be happy, I promise you. If you just look, like just just for a second, think about what makes you happy. People are always running for the next thing, for the next item, for the next experience. And we live in a world where we run so much that we've missed out on the moment, this moment. When I had that spiritual awakening, I guess you can call it, it hit me hard. It really did. I panicked at the party. <laughs> um, I started freaking out. I don't know if that was real or not. Um, it's actually hard, hard to tell what was like beyond this reality and what was like reality. Um, and I'm not saying what I felt isn't real. It is real. I know it is, but it's it's really hard to comprehend <laughs> without experiencing it firsthand. Um, but all I can say is that there is something after this life. And what you realize the moment you die is that none of this mattered. What matters is what you believe in. If you choose to wake up every morning and go on TikTok and live your life that way, just aimlessly scrolling Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, even YouTube, It's hard. I understand it's hard. I know firsthand it's hard. Trust me. It's hard breaking out of that chain. I mean, I, how I had to use drugs to do that. And I'm not saying that's the best way to do it, but it's the way that works for me. And some people will hate me for that and judge me for that. And that's okay. Because I know what's true to me. I know what's real to me, and that's all that matters. So people can hate, the people can judge all they want. Because the reality is we live in a very backwards world. We are not supposed to be this way. We are not supposed to be so overstimulated. Why? Because it causes depression, anxiety. I mean, look how high depression is in our generation. Hell, it seems like every kid is depressed nowadays. 
and it's sad. It really is. But what you have to realize is that it's not gonna stop. There will always be a new high. And you have to realize that. And when you realize that, you're gonna realize that you shouldn't be waiting on the next moment. You gotta make the best of what you're doing right now, where you are right now. Sure, can things be better in my life? Of course they can be, but I'm happy where I am right now and that's all that matters. I don't know if I made any sense at all. I know I just ramble on, but I know I have a lot of views that might be controversial and you know what, that's okay. You know why it's okay? Because it's true to me and that's all that matters. Just like you have to find what's true to you. Don't worry about what your friends say or even your family, what they think. When you find when, odds are, you know, that that's the thing. I say when you find happiness, odds are most people already have it. It's true. How are you watching this video? On a phone, laptop, computer? A lot of people don't have that, you know? And think about when you were younger. Did you want a phone or a computer or a laptop? Now you have it. You got it. So why are you still looking for something more. You have to realize that there will always be more. There will always be more to experience. There will be always more to have. You don't think I want a Lamborghini? Honestly, I don't really want a Lamborghini because I know they're really expensive and just maintenance and cost of, gas, cost of gas is crazy right now. But to me, I already have everything I have. And I'm happy with myself. So I guess what I'm doing here is even if I get, you know, 100 people hating on me saying, no, you're wrong. TikTok is good. It does this. It does that. Don't get me wrong. Technology is good. I mean, hell, it brought me to you. It's how you choose to use it. People think they are trapped. And a lot of the times they are, sadly. I was. Till I had that experience. The next day I deleted TikTok. I tried pushing away any possible negativity in my life. Anything that I knew was wrong. I've never been happier. There's a lot of things I want to do in my life. Don't get me wrong. Don't 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 get me wrong. I do want to experience driving, um, you know, these exotic cars, right? You know, super fast, super fun, super luxurious. That's gonna come. And when it comes, it will come. And the whole point of be the whole point of life is to experience what you have right now. Because odds are ten years from now you won't have it. And that's just the reality, you know? And so you gotta make every moment count. I know it's super cliche, I know it's cheesy, but what if what if we were programmed by all these apps. Not programmed as in like robotic, okay? But we generally are programmed. I mean, think about it. How many times do you go to the washroom and you're on TikTok? How many times do you take a shower and you listen to music? We, through all this stuff, I know music is good. 
Of course it is. It's beautiful. But we've become so desensitized to all this stuff. We can't even do normal stuff like <laughs> take a shit or take a shower without being on our phones. I mean, how crazy is that? I uh, met someone at that uh, party. Someone really wise. A few people that were really wise, I'm not gonna lie. And what I remember most, what hit me most is when I was sober. I, uh, he said, I, cause I was asking, you know, I was like, well, you know, what if I become bored? What do I do with myself? Blah, blah, blah. And he said, good. You want to be bored. You need to be bored. You need to lower your dopamine level. You need, you need to just crash. You do. And it's scary when it happens and it sucks, but you need to crash. At least to the point where you can be grateful for what you have and appreciate what you have and be happy what you have. I understand not knowing the future is scary. I understand people want to be prepared, but you can't. COVID has literally taught us that. And that's okay. Because when you realize that, when you truly understand it, you will appreciate what you have in this moment. Everyone has a purpose and I know what mine is. And I'm happy with it because it gives me meaning and that's all I was looking for. And I know some people are looking for that too. And look, I'm not going to go say, go smoke or do some drugs or whatever to try and get that experience because that's what works for me. That may not work for you. Hell, with my experience. I wouldn't be surprised if some people kill themselves after it because it was so out of this world. But you don't need to know. You really don't. You just need to appreciate what you have. And when you do that, I promise you life becomes a lot more simpler and a lot more stress free. I know I'm young. I know I don't have any responsibilities. I mean, what, my car, my girlfriend, like a job. And I'm just glad I realized now because, you know, I'd hate to live a life just always chasing the next high. And I don't, like I said, I don't mean high through drugs. I mean high as in dopamine levels. Our dopamine levels are through the roof. So, if you can take anything away from this video, I highly, highly suggest deleting any app that you truly believe like deep down regardless of what society says regardless of what you were told to think deep down if you know this is wrong and you know you shouldn't be doing this take it out of your life man take it out i deleted tiktok and i'm more than happy was i bored the first few days hell yeah guess what i cleaned up my bedroom <laughs> For like the first time in a week, I I was so excited to hang out with my girlfriend, and that was really fun. Spending time with her, and I 
just experiencing that moment. Because I know this is what I'm supposed to do. I know I have been all over the place in this video and I know it's hard to I guess comprehend where I'm coming from for people don't that don't even know me. So I'll say this. If you feel empty, if you feel like you can be doing more with your life if you feel like you need the latest stuff, all like just keep chasing. If you keep chasing, I promise you it's not gonna be fulfilling. You know what's gonna happen? All that's gonna happen is it's just it's not gonna stop. You're gonna keep wanting more. I mean look how look, how many billionaires are depressed. Now, I'm not saying money doesn't buy happiness. Money definitely buys opportunities that can provide happiness. However, it won't mean anything if you don't experience the moment. If you keep waiting for the next moment, you're not gonna live life. You're not gonna live life the way it's meant to be lived. So I'm asking you, I'm telling you, Delete the negativity. Erase it. How? Just click of a button. TikTok is... <sighs> Society is moving in a really bad place. It's moving, it's already there. It's already in a bad place, but it's gonna get worse. Can't tell you how I know, but I know, okay? And even if I were to try and explain myself to you, you guys probably wouldn't believe me. And that's okay, because I know what's true. In my heart, I know what is right, I know what is wrong, I know what is true, and I know what will come. And it's not good. It's a very meaningless life. And that will happen if this generation continues where it's going, continues to spend hours and hours and hours just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And I, I generally feel sorry for those people and that's why I guess I'm making this YouTube video for two reasons for people who have been in my shoes, who have experienced what I've experienced, because as much as you like to think about it, we're not as, as unique as you think. We've, there have been thoughts, there have been things that you've experienced that other people have experienced, and we're not so different. And once you stop chasing and just start appreciating Man, you're gonna be so happy. The second reason is I wanna look back and see how much I've grown. Because that's when life stops. When you stop learning, when you stop growing, when you just become brain dead. And sadly, that's what most of my generation is. It's a harsh reality. It was for me. <laughs> I mean, I was, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was brain dead too. I would wake up, go to work, come home, watch TikTok for hours and hours and hours. I would become so desensitized to things that used, used to and now make me super happy. And I'm just glad I have my old self back. And 
I'm not gonna throw it away. There will always be someone better, someone with a nicer body, someone with a nicer girlfriend, boyfriend, someone with a nicer car, a nicer outfit. But when, when you die, man, that won't matter. What matters is that you believe that you believe in God. That's that's really it. I mean, listen, I know, I know not everyone's religious. I get that. And if you want to stay in your ways, that's okay. But let me ask you this. What's the point to all this life? Do you think all this, this whole life was based off chance? Not only that, but even if it was, you're telling me you experience all of this life and on your deathbed, you turn into nothing? You cease to exist? What would be the point of that? It's meaningless. Like I said, people can hate me, people can judge me. That's okay. Because I just wanna be able to reach out to one person that's sitting on their bed right now, thinking about what is next. And I want you to know that there, sometimes there isn't a next. There won't always be a next. Sorry, let me rephrase that. They o there always will be a next. So don't get too hung up on it. Just experience what you have now. Appreciate what you have now. Yes, are some people well off, uh, better off than others? Yeah, of course. But once you stop complaining and start appreciating, your life gets a lot better. I know I talked a lot. And I'm just hoping someone finds some value in this video. And if not, I know my future self will enjoy it. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Spin real.